welcome to Crafty Learns Mental Maths. Here we're going to do a bit more difficult thing. So it's 3 by 1 multiplication. Now this one, it's not so much the multiplication, it's the it's remembering the numbers that's, that's more difficult. But this I think comes with practice. And if not, we'll in our mnemonic series we'll, we'll focus on this. We'll do an episode on remembering numbers because once you start to get bigger numbers you have to remember more and the process is different so for example this one we've got a, a simple thing now we take this one has two steps to it because we don't have 320 it doesn't have a, a step here as we as we say it's just got one so we're gonna do it like the steps we did before so it is like here we would do 300 plus uh, 20 I don't think that's right so we're doing a step of uh, so it would be 300 okay times and uh, find the times thing times 7 so that would be 2100 and we'll just do the equals oh yep yeah, 2100 oh, it's got a funny uh, little symbol there for some reason hope that doesn't yeah it should be that stupid program <laughs> ah, there we go ah why is it doing that oh I don't know never mind oh okay so <laughs> sorry about that back to the thing so um and we do 20 times so that's 140 oh well have to do the thing don't I 20 times 7 and equals 140 so we have to and with our addition we know it's going to be 2240 so that's not a bad example so you don't have to do anything but this is the first step so we're going to change this to another number um, six yeah we'll do six that'll dab you and so we have to add another six okay so there we go and so we have to take this number we've got a number two two uh what was it two thousand and forty yeah and we have to add uh, this number which is 6 times 7 so it's 6 times 7 6 times 7 ok so we have to add 42 so then we take this step so it will be plus 42 and we have the number 2002 182 so that it's it's you got an extra step so the first step is this okay and then the next step is this and really I should move that down to here yeah and that's your final step adding them together so you, you begin with the two steps and you end up with this this addition which is not too bad. You just have to get this for all these right. Okay, so we're gonna let's try another example, um, a bit different. Let's get rid of these and that. So let's try. Um, let's think six four. I don't know seven, and we we'll times it by a different one. Uh, let's say four. So we've got six hundred. Yeah. It's easy to change. Four. That's easy to change. And seven. That's easy to change. So, like we do on our process, we're going to do 600 times four, which is 2,400. Yeah, equals. For some strange reason it does that. 40 times four, so 160. Oh, 
stupid keyboard. <laughs> Have to buy a good keyboard. So we've got the times out by four. Yes, 160. So we've got now that uh, 1,000, 2,400 plus 160 which is 2560 so that's the number you have to remember this is the important thing 2560 because then you do your uh, 7 times 4 and so you've got your number oh says 28 sorry so it's your 2560 Plus 28, which is 2588. Let's try that, see if it works out. 28 equals, oh no, 8, put 8. Oh, damned keyboard. There we go. So, there you go, that's the steps. Now, it's a bit more difficult, obviously, because you're remembering more, but it's more about the remembering, not the, the multiplication is the same. So if you learn your multiplication tables, you'll have no problem, and uh, everything will be all right. I hope. I hope. So let's go to something a, a bit more complicated. Maybe we have to carry some things. Um, so let's pick a big high number. And then you need seven. We'll get this there. Let's go for a nine. Nines are always difficult. So change that to nine. Change that to eight. And oh, that's at seven. That's quite good. <laughs> so we have nine hundred times nine, which is eight thousand one hundred. Okay, we have eighty times nine, which is seven hundred twenty. See, this is just your timetables. There you go. And so we have that to put to put that together. So that's eight thousand eight hundred and twenty. Eight thousand eight hundred and twenty. We've got to remember that. Eight thousand eight hundred and twenty. Eight thousand eight hundred and twenty. I'm trying to remember it here. <laughs> and nine sevens. Nine times seven to sixty-three. So nine eight thousand was 863 and we didn't have to carry much but it was a bit more difficult we'll have to find one more carrier so let's get that one 8820 plus 63 and we should have the number we said 8883 there we go no problems no problems so carrying numbers we'll have to find something that carries um, remembering these numbers is is just it is practice because you're doing the first step once you've done this first step you just have to remember one number you see that's why you take this as a second step because then you're just doing one number plus another number and it's just a simple addition uh, that's the key thing so let's see if we can carry some numbers. Find something that might carry numbers. Um, ah, okay. Let's just do a little basic one. One, eight, four, maybe. We'll times that by seven. Let's see. So it's. That's already done. One hundred and and change that to four. Just so you keep that in your mind so we have 100 times 7 times not the plus come on computer 700 obviously you get that that's not too bad 70 times 8 is for, um, 560 sorry 70 times 80 oh my keto board doesn't work anymore decided to go oh I don't like it doing stupid maths Let's see 
and it's done it all wrong. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling lucky today. So we'll get with equal sign back, 560, that's what I thought. So this one we have to uh, carry, but it's just a simple <coughs> addition. So we can add five per seven. So that's gonna be 1,000 and uh, 260. So we've got 1,260, 1,260. And then we do four <coughs> times seven. Times, please. You should never work in the dark. It's bad because you can't see. 28. So we had 1,000. This is the way you carried the first one. 1,260 uh, plus 28. 1,288. So let's try that. 1,260 plus. I just do these, all these. Just to show you the the end result, twenty eight. It's easier if you trust the computer than my mathematical skills. <laughs> so you get the end result. So we'll do <coughs> one final one. Let's see if we can carry some numbers. Um, get rid of that. Let's think. Let's just put some. Let's see what we'll get. I don't know, six, eight, four. Generally, if the and we'll times it by nine, I think. So six, eight, oh, and four. Is that the same as the other one? Oh well, that gives us a thing. Well, that helps us out because then we don't have to do. There we go. So six times nine, obviously, is five thousand. 400, yes, um, six, <laughs> 600, I'm still practicing the times table because uh, it's uh, essential because oof, when I get into the 9s and the 8s, I still have problems with that, but uh, 5400, there you go, I uh, try to remember that, <laughs> hey, it worked, <laughs> so you learn in the works, 80 times nine should be 720 if my timetable is right oh perfect so we've got another one here let's think seven thousand so we've got five thousand but we've got another number to carry so we are obviously going to do six thousand one hundred and twenty six thousand one hundred and twenty and just to verify that i'm going to do the thing just uh, <laughs> so the computer verifies it and you can uh not call me a liar 120. Oh, I've got to do the equals. 6120. And then we do the 9 times 4. Okay, which is fairly easy. 36, obviously. Oh, okay, so 36, and we just added to the 6100 thing. Um, all we could do, for example, we could change that to a uh, a nine, so we get nine times nine, and we can carry that. It's eighty-one, so we have to carry another number. So it'd be six thousand two hundred and one. Six thousand two hundred and one. So we'll do six one two zero, and we add it with eighty-one. So you're carrying a lot of numbers. That was a better number. It just occurred to me, sorry. Two, 201. So the the problem is not the multiplication, the problem is remembering the numbers. But if you do it in this step, like this, you do these first and you get this number. Now, keep that number in mind while you do the quick multiplication and once you learn your multiplication tables these should be fairly quick because you see this number 9981 so 6120 9981 6120 plus 81 blah 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 like 6201 so there you go three times three by one multiplication not so bad just a bit more use on the memory i think is a difficult thing so hopefully you got something out of that have a good day yeah. Toodaloo!